How to divide fractions, whole numbers, and mixed numbers without using illustrations. Example 1. 4 fifths divided by 2. Write each in fraction form. So we have 4 fifths, copy division sign, and write 2 as a fraction which is equal to 2 over 1. After doing this, you do the three steps. Copy, change, flip. Again, copy, change, flip. So copy the dividend for fifths, change the division sign to multiplication sign, and flip 2 over 1. It becomes 1 half. After that, you multiply. By the way, 1 half is called the reciprocal of 2 over 1 or 2. Since 4 and 2 can be reduced by 2, then we have to divide them by 2. 4 divided by 2 is 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1. And then 2 times 1, 2. 5 times 1, 5. So 4 fifths divided by 2 is 2 fifths. Number 2. 1 third divided by 3. Again, change each to into a fraction form. So we have 1 third divided by 3 over 1. Then do the three steps, copy, change, flip. Copy one third, then times, and flip three over one to one third. Then you multiply, and again, one third is called the reciprocal of three over one or three. Since nothing can be reduced, then we have to multiply both numerators, so it's equal to one, and both denominators, which is equal to nine. So the final answer is one ninth. Number three. 3 divided by 1 fifth. Again, write each in fraction form. 3 is equal to 3 over 1 divided by 1 fifth. And then, copy, change, flip. Copy 3 over 1 times 5 over 1. 5 over 1 is the reciprocal of 1 fifth. After that, you multiply. So, we get... 15 over 1 or simply 15. Number 4. 4 divided by 1 third. 4 becomes 4 over 1 divided by 1 third. Then 3, the 3 steps we have copy, change, flip, copy 4 over 1 times 3 over 1. And then we multiply and again 3 over 1 or 3 is the reciprocal of 1 third. And we get 12 over 1 which is simply 12. Number 5. 2 and 4 fifths divided by 2 fifths. So, write each in fraction form. 2 and 4 fifths is equivalent to 14 fifths. 5 times 2, 10 plus 4, 14 over the denominator 5. Then copy divided by 2 fifths. Once you have each number in fraction form, then you can do the three steps. Copy, change, flip. Copy 14 fifths. Change division to multiplication sign. And then flip 2 fifths, which is equal to 5 halves. And then multiply. 5 halves is the reciprocal of 2 fifths. 14 and 2 can be reduced by 2. So 14 becomes 7 and 2 becomes 1. Also 5 and 5 by 5. So we get 1 and also 1. So, our answer is 7 over 1 or simply 7. Number 6. 3 and 1 half divided by 2 thirds. So, write each in fraction form. 3 and 1 half is equivalent to 7 over 2. 3 times 2, 6 plus 1, 7. Copy, divide 2 thirds. And then do copy, change, flip. Cop copy 7 halves times 3 halves. The flip fraction of two-thirds. Multiply them and again three halves is the reciprocal of two-thirds. So since nothing can be reduced, then we have to multiply both numerators. So seven times three we get twenty-one and then two times two we get four. Since this is improper, we have to change it to a mixed number which is equivalent to five and one-fourth. Number seven, three and one-third divided by six. So, writing them in fraction form, 3 and 1 third becomes 10 thirds 
divided by 6 over 1. After that, we copy 10 thirds. We change division to multiplication sign and 6 over 1 becomes 1 6, which is the reciprocal of 6 or 6 over 1. Since 10 and 6 can be reduced by 2, 10 becomes 5, 6 becomes 3. 5 times 1 is 5, 3 times 3 is 9. And this is already reduced and is it is uh, a proper fraction, then it's the final answer. Number 8, 6 and 1 fourth divided by 4. Writing them in fraction form, 6 and 1 fourth becomes 25 over 4 divided by 4 over 1 then copy 25 over 4 change divide to time symbol and flip 4 over 1 it becomes 1 fourth then you multiply 1 fourth is the reciprocal of 4 or 4 over 1 since no two numbers can be reduced here then we multiply both numerators so we get 25 and both denominators we get 16 which is equivalent to a mixed number of 1 and 9 over 16. Thank you guys for watching my video. I hope you like it. And subscribe to my channel and share this with your friends. Again, whatever problems we have, whether in math or in life, there is always one or more solutions that the Lord will provide. When we divide fractions, whole numbers and mixed numbers, indeed, there are, there are a lot of ways to do it. You can use cutting, drawing, illustrating, paper folding, copy change flip technique, or a solution that you have discovered on your own. Similarly, in facing our day-to-day -day challenges, we can respond in so many ways. As long as it is right before others and God, we will never go bad. This is Teacher Zilla reaching out to you, your Pinay Math teacher.